Once someone's been diagnosed with macular degeneration, beyond medication, what else can they do to treat it, to possibly even you know, slow the progression or even possibly reverse it? You said that sometimes it can be reversed. Yes, I mean, macular degeneration is a nutritionally responsive condition. Um, we call it starvation of the retina, which means that the retina is not being able to get proper nutrition and it's not able to eliminate the waste products when it has to break down from the photoreceptors. So we want to increase our nutrition to the retina and to the macula specifically. So such nutrients such as lutein, zeaxanthin, astaxanthin, uh, taurine, um, these are the most important nutrients for prevention of macular degeneration. And, and uh, lifestyle and diet changes, the green leafy vegetables, the dark grapes, uh, the blueberries. These are the kind of foods we want to add to our diet. Omega-3 fatty acids um, uh, are very, very important. So we want to do maybe the cold water fish, uh, flaxseed oil, hemp oil. These are things that have been shown to be helpful once you get diagnosed with macular degeneration to help either stabilize it so it doesn't get worse or possibly even reverse it. So it's really fascinating because you know, obviously we talk a lot about nutrition and your heart, nutrition and your brain. I'm not sure that people really connect the dots between nutrition and their eyesight, but everything that we've talked about today, there's so much connection between the two. Oh my goodness, 25% of the nutrients from the foods we eat go to our eyes. I don't so, think anyone ever talks about that. Yeah, it's like super important. So remember, eye is brain tissue, embryologically, neurologically, physiologically. So anything we do to nourish our eyes nourishes our brain. Wow, okay. So how about an, another thing that I read about when I was researching your work, you talk about acupuncture in Chinese medicine for macular degeneration. Oh, now you're getting to things I like. Okay. <laughs> so 25 years ago, after already being an eye doctor right. for 16 years ago, I went to acupuncture school and I've been an acupuncturist for 25 years. And again, in acupuncture, we're not, in Chinese medicine, we're not looking at how does X cause Y. We're looking at what is the relationship between X and Y. So there is, acupuncture does help uh, macular degeneration. Uh, there's also a machine called a microstim that lets people do it at home with self uh, acupuncture to build the circulation to the eyes. So I have found that certain types of acupuncture such as microacupuncture or acupuncture in general is again one of the very effective adjunct therapies I, I personally uh, recommend for people with macular degeneration. So if somebody doesn't live right in your backyard and can't get to you for treatment, how can somebody take advantage of acupuncture for their eye care? So if they can't get to an acupuncturist who specializes in vision care, one of the ways that they can do something for themselves is a micro-stim machine that's specifically set up to uh, work on all the different acupuncture points around the eyes, and it's something they can do for themselves at home. Okay, great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. If you like what you just saw with Dr. Mark Grossman, come back to our website. We have a whole lot more videos with him and with our other great experts. And do me a favor, do the social thing. Share it, tell your friends, tell your family. It's great information for all.